Hello, my name is Mr. Managa with new updates in pediatrics. My goal in this presentation is to discuss evidence-based recommendations in infantile colic. Infantile colic is crying for no apparent reason. The infant is not hungry, there is no soil diaper, the infant is healthy, is not sick, is not ill, there is no organic cause. Infantile colic usually starts at two weeks of age and ends at four months of age. By four months of age, most of infants do not have infantile colic anymore. Infantile colic affects 10 to 30 percent of infants worldwide. It is one of the most common reasons to visit pediatricians in the first three months of life. So it is really important to know everything about infantile colic. The best and most important step in the management of infantile colic is reassuring and educating parents about infantile colic. It is common and usually resolves spontaneously by three to four months of age. It is critical to inform parents that the infant is not sick. Acknowledging that the infant is difficult to soothe and they are doing the best that they can. Encouraging parents to take breaks from the crying infant, taking turns with the infant during the colic period. To have a rescue plan, for example, relative, grandparents, to help parents if they feel overwhelmed. It is important to acknowledge the feeling of frustration, anger, exhaustion, guilt, helplessness, and all these are normal. After acknowledging the difficulty of management of infantile colic and the frustration of the parents, we have to provide tips for techniques to soothe the baby. Feeding technique, underfeeding may cause crying, so feed more frequent or overfeeding, less volume or less frequent. Inadequate burping teach the parents to be patient when burping an infant. Uh, Barrel feeding the baby in a vertical position instead of recumbent position. Use or you may use or suggest using a curved bottle or a bottle with collapsible bag or bottle with ventilation tubes to reduce the swallowed air and decrease the vacuum pressure inside the bottle. Soothing techniques are very important to know. For example, using a pacifier, taking the infant for a ride in the car or a walk in the stroller, rocking the infant, decrease visual stimuli, for example, making the room dark. Placing the child in an infant swing, providing a warm bath, rubbing the infant's abdomen. If the first line failed, for example, soothing technique and feeding techniques, and the infantile colic is out of control, you may try one week of extensively hydrolyzed formula, for example, alimentum or neutramigen. Soy protein formula is not recommended for management of infantile colic in formula-fed infants. If the soothing technique is not working in breastfed infants, you may suggest to the mom to decrease the dairy products in her diet. So decrease in maternal milk product consumption or using hypoallergic maternal diet, for example, no milk, no eggs, no nuts, no wheat, etc. Recommending hypoallergic maternal diet is beneficial if the mother is atopic or the baby has symptoms of cow's milk allergy, for example, eczema, wheezing, diarrhea, or vomiting. Decrease maternal consumption of caffeine in breastfed infants. Some studies showed that probiotics, specifically lactobacillus rotary, may decrease crying time. Generally, it is not recommended for routine management of infantile colic. But if caregivers or parents prefer to try, it may be reasonable to offer lactobacillus rotary only, not other species or strains, after discussion of the potential benefits, risks, and uncertainties. Even though sucrose is used uh, in some type of pain in neonates, but the evidence in reducing crying in colicky infancy is limited, so is not recommended. Infant massage also is not recommended for treatment of infantile colic. Cymethicone is very common and widely used for treatment of infantile colic. It is not recommended for routine treatment of infantile colic. There is no evidence to support uh, using cymethicone as a prescription for infantile colic. If parents prefer to use, it is important to inform them it may not work. Cymethicone generally safe, but may interact with levothyroxine. Avoid using in infants with congenital hypothyroidism. Using herbal remedies for infantile colic. For example, herbal teas, fennel seed, gripe water. Gripe water is a mixture of herbs and water and is widely uh, used worldwide. The benefits are largely unproven. 
The benefits do not outweigh the potential risks, for example, contamination with bacterial toxins or unlabeled ingredients, for example, alcohol. Prolonged ingestion of herbal teas may lead to decreased milk intake. Bottom line, do not recommend. In summary, infantile colic is common and self-limited. Parents need to be reassured that they have a healthy infant. No medications or remedies are routinely recommended for the management of infantile colic. Effective management of infantile colic effective swaddling and decreased stimulation of the infant hold and comfort, for example, gentle rocking, dancing with the baby, window swing, or vibrating a chair. Cushioning overtired and frustrated parents never ever to shake their infant. It is normal for healthy infant to cry. At the end, before making the diagnosis of infantile colic, carefully examine the infant and rule out any organic cause. The references of this presentation is below the video. Next videos will be new updates in pediatrics. Thank you for listening. This video is only for educational purposes and not intended to direct the care of any specific patient. Please consult your physician or the physician of your child for the correct diagnosis and the proper treatment. None of my videos can be superior or an alternative for the opinion of an experienced and licensed healthcare professional. Thank you again.